I understand. I think part of the, one of the things I think about is like part of being ready to have a kid or wanting to have a kid is like having done all these things I wanted to do. And like, I, oh, I, that's a nice we're, thing we're, to say to a human going, being. Yeah. Just complain about just having a kid. Like, just no, it's no, no, actually what I was waiting for. <laughs> so, so what I, I did. No. Like, so, I played that poorly. You I played it poorly. I played like me. If I could crip walk, this is when I'd do it. There's a hair. In it? In it? Yeah. I can't pull it out because it's stuck between the lid. There's a hair inside my shit? No, look, there's on the side. It's stuck between the rim. I mean, it's definitely touching the coffee, but it's not in the oh, coffee. Oh, like it's trapped between the lid and the... <gasps> I yeah. see it. Well, it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That just yeah, happened. That, uh, we know. It looks like a spider leg. It no, actually it just, it just broke. It's just a oh, does it look like a spider? So it's stuck in there forever. And if you ever open it, it'll go in all the way. Yeah. So you just but she was it. cute, so it's fine. Did she look oh. like she was too pretty to work there? No, because pretty <laughs> girls work at Starbucks all the time. Yeah. It's where, <laughs> it's where pretty girls go and to die. None of them, and none of them should be working there. It's actually there. where they go to be born. Pretty girls spawn at Starbucks. Or, yeah, it's like you it's know, uniform. GTA spot. Yeah. yeah, they spawn at Starbucks's, just working an eight-hour shift. Their first quest is being nice to me. <laughs> Where do ugly and they girl... always pass? And they always pass. <laughs> always oh, really nice to me. Where do ugly girls spawn? Where do they spawn? Uh -huh. uh, your house. Bro. I, I was gonna say your mother's house. Yeah, we can't say any of these. At my house. We know all these That's people. Who are you referring to? It's like saying your mom. You know, it's like who's at my house? I don't actually. You fucked up. Look, cutie, cutie's lovely and beautiful. Full and I didn't mean it about her. <laughs> Let's move past that. I like how it's like the only time you get Nick to stop being like, nah, as you fucking. Is though. when he's mean to women. Yeah. Which he does often. But I yeah. won't stop though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you did. Being, you did. Yeah. You stopped. You know what me and Abe were talking about before the podcast was uh, a hypothetical of <laughs> racist rap battle league. Oh, like a, a LA, competition. LA's yeah. most racist battle league. <laughs> I, what I had pictured in my head was like. Fresh and fit, um, like American Idol, but for Canadians, Canada's most racist yeah. guy. Yeah, it's yeah. Featuring Canada's most racist rapper, we're, Aiden McKay. We're going city to city <laughs> and putting on auditions to find Canada's most racist man. He gets like real, real racist. Like, uh, like in Community, it's like when, uh, tr what is it? Pierce's dad. He's like <laughs> typical Welsh, Welsh thinking. It's like whoa, this guy's the orbit of racism. <laughs> Imagine you're really into like, like, yo, this guy's Polish. You got like multi-syllabic <laughs> cerebral, but like extremely racist bars. Yeah. And everyone's like, I mean, it's impressive. I can't B like. He is the best. I, I, he is the best. <laughs> Being deep cut Euro racist in the U.S. becomes mildly impressive because you bust out all these like Eastern European like niche things that well, nobody even knows what it's you're common. talking about. The French are a pipeline to that. Oh. Is this are you are you racist against Eastern I'm Europeans? I'm saying people are commonly racist against the French, and that's level yeah. one. That's different. And then they just keep moving. That's down. different. Because no, everybody's collectively agreed that that's fine. The yeah. whole world. <laughs> that's has, why it's the gateway. We have, we have joined no, hands. Not the whole world. A, a, across the world to say oh, and make fun of you. Can you guys do me a favor? Give me three French stereotypes. Stereotypes. Yeah, just class. Just off top. Yeah. Secularism. Okay. Needle Needle needlessly frogs. secular. Uh, what a weird uh, butt snail. Sorry. Butt snails. Is that one? Needlessly secular. <laughs> Butt snails. <laughs> That's not like I want, dirty, I want the church bugs. and the state to be the same. <laughs> this is not I like want a the church and the state to be one. You're supposed to say they, they establishment terrorism. You're supposed to say they surrender. They're stinky. Surrender, stinky. Not needlessly sexual. Oh, and women can't wear hijabs at beaches. Oh, it's a, that's you, yeah. dude. That's <laughs> is that you, how dude. you like that? That's how you like that. I <laughs> wanted to bring up how the French are actually the highest winning country in war. Winning? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I you, mean, if yeah, you you just click Allied Victory on the StarCraft screen, and it's like no. your, teammate all, <laughs> <laughs> your teammate does all the work. Yeah, like sometimes I team with top one hundred players, and yeah. I win doubles. You know, like Nick. <laughs> yeah. Oh Aww. come on, bro. <laughs> oh. Am I wrong? He, he Am I wrong? He earns his keep. Oh, does he? I think so. I, I you, could see that Polish team with right Mango. now. Huh? You could team with Mango, you wouldn't win a local, bro. We'd have oh. fun.
<laughs> oh, so <laughs> now it's just, start now the race. Let's go back to the French, French racism. Let's go back to the French racism. Let's. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the yard, episode one hundred. One hundred, we did it. A hundred episodes. Finally, we made it. We made it all late, the way. We all want to move past it. Three yes, digits. I don't want to hard body, but you have to it. say the line. Say the line, Bart. Uh, I'll, I'll say the line. After I've had my coffee. <laughs> I did. I was a little late. You know why? It's because I was uh I, I was busy. <laughs> it's because there's a pretty lady yeah, so you were home and home and home and home and home. Oh yeah. woo! Sorry, uh hey, do you have Discord? What the fuck is this? <laughs> for God forbid me for loving women. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, also, dude, some people in the Discord foolishly admitted, which you shouldn't do, that they took our advice last week oh on the God, on the podcast dude. when we said, hey, everyone, call your girlfriend up and tell them that you'll never cheat on them. No, this is good. I actually thought about this a long time. This is a good thing because it's kind of like it's like, uh, hey, hey, uh, all the dumb people in the world, there's there's candy inside of your gun. You should go check. <laughs> yeah. And then they just like, you know, and they then. Go, oh. And then we have, well, we need some people. We need some people to row the boats. How you doing, man? Slime sent the sweetest little message this morning. You oh, he reads the fucking group chat for once. Uh, yeah, I did. That's wow. why I knew it was at 11. Anyway. Wow, what's going on today, guys? Let's sit. Hold on. I'm, I'm saying deep breath. Let's all really quick together. One, two, three. Out through the mouth. I ran Shake's pockets in the parking lot just now. Wow. I took a video. I, I I opened his car door and I reached into his pockets and I took his AirPods. Oh shit! You pocket checked him? <laughs> yeah, bro. I said these are mine now. Yeah, Matus. You robbed him. Yeah. That picture you sent of him is very funny. Which one? He stanced up. <laughs> he says he just says pussy. Yeah. And he's just in Radsad's backyard. <laughs> oh my it was god. Big. Uh, <laughs> you sent a sweet little message. You're like, I'm excited to pod, not because of podcast, but to see my friends. I did say that. Is yeah. that what you feel like this is? Uh, today I do. Yeah. I mean, usually it is because you never fucking call me up anymore for sweet love and sweet hangs. Mm. You're always fucking busy and stupid. We hang out. Aiden is here. I can hang out with Aiden anytime I want. <laughs> he just kind of stands here with a fucking exclamation point over his head. I am also here. Yeah, just but you're always know. downstairs fucking pulling your pud and shit. <laughs> just pud pulling. You're just gooning. <laughs> yeah, but I want, like, I'm not down for, like, friends. You and Polite goon doubles. all day. No, we, we have different time zones. It's hard. We want to play together, but he comes in at 3 a.m., and I'm, out, I'm usually out. He's on a weird ass schedule. Polite goons that just. Do you know how <laughs> hard no one schedule? should ever goon at? <laughs> you know Polite sleep schedule? Yeah, it's like it's 3 crazy. to 5 p.m. I, I love when Polite <laughs> comes to the office at, like, 5 p.m., and he's like, hey, man. Just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's like, a, he's just a, a little vampire. He's, he's been little, on this for like four years. A little gooning vampire. Is that better for you? Do, like, do you think that's better for business that he has the no. sleep schedule? <laughs> I'm not like some fucking 1920s era CEO. I'm yeah, like, but you got this. Between your two editors, you got two shifts covered. You got the day shift <laughs> Every and the time. night shift. But it's not like they tag it off. They have Polite, start projects. working graveyard. That's how yeah. you got started. Polite, here's your daily. Let's get it together. And then you clock out at 7 a.m. Mobile doesn't shut off and no one You're gets overtime. You're saying all the advantage of Archie, but putting him in U.S. I want to yeah. work Archie to the bones. <laughs> and Archie's British, so I want that one. It. I want to work him to his yellow bones. <laughs> I know we don't. <laughs> 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 it's got to be true, right? Yeah. It's, all that. It's, all that. it's gotta be true, right? It has yellow that, British that bones. British people don't have white bones either. Yeah. Because teeth and they're are crooked bones. and they have less of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think is it aren't everybody? Yeah, they don't have bone yellow? doctors and they're what? like a yellow. What are you talking about? Your bones aren't white. No, you have you it. ever broken a bone? Uh, bones are white. Oh, the dogs have been chewing sorry. on all these if years. If he had broken a bone, why would that be different? Because it comes out, <laughs> <laughs> and you can clearly see it. If he broke it so bad that he's yeah. like, "Oh wow, it is white," and then there's the juice inside. When alive, bones are white, Whitish. yellow, red. Well, that's and then they use yeah. tilde. I don't trust Google anymore. Why? Why do bones look like composite cables? Yeah, that's this, this is like, this is correct. You don't need the red one. White. It, uh, just like you just teeth aren't it. supposed no, to I'm be. With, white. I'm with Slime. I don't trust Google anymore. We're not supposed to trust it, Aiden. We don't trust Google. We don't trust the internet because all the robots have taken it over. Except for DuckDuckGo. What, is, what, what are you is talking that? about? DuckDuckGo is an indie search engine that... It's like oh, Signal. Oh, with, with the little duck for search like, engines. Well, actually, it is kind of like Signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. like Signal. <laughs> Wait, is that... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. It's like no. Bing. No. Nope. 
Nope, wrong, stupid. Signs. I, was, I was thinking that we, oh, you don't like that. I'm on there. <laughs> we hit a brick wall and you were like, <laughs> touch, touch, uh, touch. Well, no, I was just thinking. You wanted my attention? We, well, we don't, you know, you, you just said we don't hang out a lot, but I feel like we hang out all the time because my chat has co-opted every fucking saying that you have <laughs> and then they put it into TTS on a rotating schedule. It, it's so, funny when like Shrek's voice comes up and it's saying dub and dub and dub. Even, it's even, I know, you've said this last week. I know, but it hasn't stopped. Okay, so you think it's it's cool to say it again? Like, what's the news? What's I, the update, Ludwig? It, I, I run you. I, <laughs> I think you Slime do. owns you. It's a problem. Slime owns you. It is. It's literally like, it's just a bunch of minions who keep saying I'm sunsetting, and then I got bracelets that say dubbin, dubbin. Oh if it, my if God. hasn't already started, you're most certainly going to get some that say that all your chatters are going to be running you as Who made you the week? bracelet that said like Lil Dubbin Cumboy or Lil whatever? Lil Cumboy Dubbin? Yeah, yeah, who made that? It, it was like a like two girls came up and one had a Lil Cumboy bracelet for me. <sighs> God. And then the person who originally donated <laughs> Little Cumboy came up, and they're like, oh, I donated that. Oh, the Hassan voice one? Yeah, I, I guess. Little Pussy was... Cumboy? Yeah. That's <laughs> is that your Hassan? No, well, that's what the AI I sounds I do love like. the fart sound. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Like the so echoing. your life is kind of a miserable nightmare of, of my creation. Yes. Yeah. Is that everything you've ever wanted? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, it's all, yes, yes! Yes, Gucci yes! Louis. Because it, because all you've always had the upper hand, Ludwig. You've always had the cards, <laughs> and now you have the people. And now I have the people. Finally, the yeah. people understand me. Whose court is whose ball with is the you. court in now, Ludwig? Who's bald it's, it's now? Balls in, balls in your court. Mm -hmm. Balls in your court. So how do you feel about that? I I don't feel great because I'm playing fucking fruit game every day. I'm clocking in like a nine to five. You do feel great. You love the idea that you can play a fucking fruit game and get 30k. I would love if I could get a high score too, though. Is there a record right now? I, the, the, Connor has a, a record that's 10 points higher than me. 10? Which is like two fruit. Am I, would I be good at this game? Can we just no. fucking destroy this? No, 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 no. Because you have, I, I think it's, you'd play too fast. You'd be horrible. No. You'd be one of the worst. I wouldn't play too fast. One of the, one of the no worst. Two? You would be Lily Pichuesque. What the fuck? Yeah. Sometimes you go too far. <laughs> too you far. just know that's bad without <laughs> knowing what that means. <laughs> uh, how do you even play? Is you, do you have to play on Switch? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But they uh, just dropped it on English Switch because it's only on Japanese Switch. Oh. They got big enough. I thought it was a, a little PC late to the game. party. No. It's on PC, but the, that version's wet. It looks like a f fucking browser game. Yeah. But it's really polished. There's a browser version of it, and it's shit. Oh. Yeah, I was thinking on the drive here that we should have more Armenian rock stars. We have such a enormous one. We, uh, but we need more. Who Serge are you? Tankian. Yeah, from System I was of listening a Down. to System of a Down. That's it. Oh, so that's enough for you. Uh, one representative. That's enough. No, I guess it's not enough. It's like the also, U all four it's like of the them are rock stars. I know, but you're saying he, like, tell me the names of the other band members. System of a Down. Is everyone in, uh, in System of the a Down guy. Armenian? <laughs> yeah, they're all Armenian. Yeah, it's an Armenian band. I feel like there's a there's a coffee saying, shop. It's, like it's common knowledge. There's I a coffee know, why shop. Why I know this? Uh, in LA, <laughs> that, I think I've said this before. That uh, has a picture of Serge uh, Sankian holding coffee out front of it, <laughs> and it's just him smiling, holding coffee. It's not owned I by like him. I like it here. It's not owned by him. It's not. I looked at all, I looked into all this, <laughs> and it's just like a picture of him, and I don't know why. Those guys are cool, man. They are we cool. need we need more. Why don't presidents fight the war, Ludwig? <laughs> Is that like that's it's like a kind song of wise. lyric from? System it's kind of what's well, also worth talking about. Yeah. This is also how it used to work. It'd be like a general, like the leader. why do they always send the poor Ludwig? Yeah, they changed that. <laughs> yeah, they did flip it. Why did they flip it? it? Why did they, they flip, flip that it? shit? Uh, why did they flip it from like Roman general leading the war? Imagine Biden had to go to war after his term. Oh, bro, we put him in a helmet in the trench. Yeah. Like those AI pictures of Drake fighting in World War II. Is it? <laughs> well, actually, camps. Isn't it common in the States too? You have like a former general become president. So they did lead the war. But also war is so different now. Yeah. That's what it's I mean. so whack. Everyone's on their phone in the war. Isn't the, it general? Everyone is on their phone. <laughs> dude, dude uh, have you ever heard prisons, uh, prison song by System of a Down? Probably. It's, yeah, they're trying to build a prison. They're trying yeah, to, yeah. And it, it's just like, and it's just talking about prison. And there's like <laughs> really preachy <laughs> lyrics, which I think are fine. And then, but they, they have this funny thing they do in their old songs where they're like, the like, so the lyric is, I buy my crack, my smack, my bitch right here in Hollywood. 
And he's like, the percentage of Americans in the prison system, prison system has doubled since 1985. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah those, those parts in parentheses are just like, are, are just them speaking that, yeah. <laughs> quickly. I in, love that. Between the lyrics. I love when they do the like infomercial voice <laughs> yeah. for, Dude, for a line. It's so sick. I would have loved if Most Def did this in mathematics. <laughs> it was, it was just drop shit. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of already doing that, but just just turn into full speaking voice. He song. starts including his Valorant stats. <laughs> you know, like, statistics. Po post tracker, post tracker. My You're KJ a has a sixty-five percent win rate. Uh, do you, do you so I was thinking ever... those two things. Oh, sorry, Armenian. We need more Armenian rock stars. Okay. And uh, women rule. Yeah, and the women should. Why don't women fight the war? And women shouldn't work at Starbucks because they're too, too beautiful. beautiful. That's not what I'm do saying. Do we need That's more women rock said. stars? Uh, yeah, absolutely. No, we have Axel. Do Rose. we need more women what's her, what's Armenian rock stars? Fucking. And our, yes, we need more Armenian women as rock stars. Yeah. I think we would be better off right, for we got it. And I'm, and I'm not Do you guys remember kidding. when our System of a Down covered the Wu-Tang song and they said all the N-words in it? Yeah. That was crazy, right? That was no. crazy. So we were all just like, cool. Right. I do remember Back to when whatever we're doing. <laughs> Wu-Tang Wu -Tang uploaded a fan cover of oh, shame, yeah. shame on a Neighbor. Yeah. Except the fan is white and says all the N-words, and it's all, it was just on their YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, they were like, like, they were like they, 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 literally, that's how it went. They were like, yeah. this guy's tight. Dude, that's so And all the comments were like, <laughs> like, I want to say something, but Wu-Tang, sign him off. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, you, know, you know when it's a music channel on YouTube and it has the little like check mark, but it's a music note to like show it's verified? Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, it's like... It's real shit. It's the real deal. All right. It's Wu-Tang Vivo. <laughs> Not my song. <laughs> <laughs> you should change your ch channel to Bloodwig Vivo. Vivo, I don't know what the fuck happened to it. It had such a grip, and then it died. I know. Now artists just make their own shit. I don't know why Vivo ever got the access to everybody's art. one guy in the right room at the right time. Was it kind of Vivo... Was Vivo just music... Uh, what, was it, what was the big MCN that everybody used for a long time? That Disney bought? Machinima. <laughs> maker but Jinima. maker no. I, what all of those got phased out is it is was vivo just an mcn is that what it was i'm sure it's more complex that you've boiling it down to they were all phased out <laughs> minecraft network we're, we're dumb don't I, ask questions you're we a can't big answer youtuber don't i think ask, you would what know. osc did you say you fucking love oh, it's a disney movie uh, billy hatcher oh yeah. <laughs> I said my favorite licensed movie soundtrack of all time is Surf's Up, the Penguin <laughs> Surfing movie. Dude, the names on this OST are fucked up. Dude, because we were talking, we were doing the decal, we were talking about Incubus, yeah. and I was like, cool. I love Drive by Incubus because the, I, I fucking watched <laughs> Chicken Joe surf to that song. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he interprets the world in media. That's so, I love that. This is how our fans do, too. Whatever tomorrow. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's got a shitload of Green Day Songs. I'll be there. It's got Pearl God. Jam. God, this song, which this... all suck. Green Day and Pearl Jam suck ass. Welcome to Paradise hits when it's an animated <laughs> beach with penguins on it. it I'm hits. telling you that. Yeah, I'm sure it hits, man. But it's, <laughs> but it's yeah. I was thinking it was like because in Incubus songs, I've been listening to a lot of like late '90s, early 2000s shit lately because I'm playing World of Warcraft. And they, they do a lot of the, the record scratch. like Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And yeah. I, I was thinking, like, dude, we thought this was so cool. As we did. Society. We were like, what the f They have guitars and uh, turntables? And Mike Shinoda is just like, yeah. I don't even know what he does. I just know he raps. What does in, he do in, in the Lincoln band? Park. Yeah. Yeah. He, he raps on the pyramid and in the end, on yeah. the top of it. Uh, <laughs> I think Scar during Big House was like, a, uh, who said it? I think it was uh, Brandon was like 10% luck, 20% skill. And Scar was like, yeah, like, shout out to that guy. I was like, how do you not know that guy, Scar? You don't know players. You don't know Mike Shinoda. You don't know anyone. <laughs> Scar. Scar's like, he's Scar's like dubbing. Who's Aklo? <laughs> Aklo, this is one of the newest, craziest players I ever know. Aklo, tell me, what's his story? Tell me his story. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't, I was at the tournament, so I didn't listen. He's, he, we had a nice multi-set burning barn and allergy. Yeah, that was just it, it was magic. It was scar magic. Was it really? Sometimes wow. he hits. You look like it's not in it, your face. It only hit because it's like ah, scar. <laughs> <laughs> Back at it again with the analogy. Like if he anybody else was again? saying it this way, I would be like. This is so dumb. There'd but be a I was just like, that's good to have Scar back. <laughs> Darn. How was tournament? A fun, man? It was great. I had fun. I played a lot. My hands hurt, which is a good sign. Do you meet anyone and yell at them and bark at them because they said hello? Everyone was really, really nice. 
One guy was kind of oh. weird. Do you think you're? Well, you think you're? I'll, I'll leave you to guess. Did he, viewer. Did he like say hello and introduce himself? Was it? Is that what he did? No, but I did. <laughs> I did hold true to my word. About half the people that would come up to me, I would audit their Twitter account. Oh yeah. And so I'd make them bring up their Twitter account, and I would look at it, and I would I would just like take a mental snapshot of their username mm. in case they ever bark some shit. I'd be like, I'd know what you look like in real life. Did anyone come up who's wow. blocked? No. Really? That I know of. Some people I didn't because they I got fun. that. Huh? I got that at fucking TwitchCon. What happened? Slime blocked me. Ah! Half Someone my DMs me? are people saying, hey, Slime blocked me. Can hey, you tell him to unblock hey, me? Hey, Aiden, I'm sorry, but could you get Slime really? to unblock yes. me? Yes. I get these daily. Yeah, you make our lives really? worse. I got these dailies for two us. years. No yes. way. I can show you. I got them today. I'll show you. Bran this is so Brandon you. and Craig want to get unblocked. Oh, well, what did Brandon and Craig do? I didn't get that far. You should always ask, Ludwig. No, it's not worth my time. Well, yeah. then they're, but they're making it... <laughs> yesterday. Oh, my God, that's such a pair. It's about you. Oh, my God, that's so long. The whole thing's you. It's yesterday. Oh... Yeah, well, my this life. happens all the time. With my so, life. Sorry I run you guys. You do. <laughs> I'm, I'm ran by, by slime. You, <laughs> you make his TTS miserable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to get out of our lives, man. How about you get me out of your life? <laughs> we, we, 300 bands and I'm out. You're not... <laughs> <laughs> One each. This is a long way to circle back, but this, this all started from you sending a nice message in the Discord this morning, and when you sent it, I was happy because... I want to send that message every week. Oh God, my dude. Jesus wow, Christ! Why did so you make sweet. you made it lame? No, it you, was made sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you made sweet. You made liking you know what, friends. You know lame. what slime does? I feel that way every day. <laughs> what? Yeah. Like he's saying, like what, the way you felt today, especially. I actually felt that way. I feel that way all the time. Yeah, what you think is special is only every That's my day daily. to me. All every the time. Every podcast is special because we get to do it together. I actually unironically believe that. Yeah. Ludwig, do you believe that? Or is it just we work? We all believe it. Is this, about, <laughs> <laughs> is, this about, is this about selling a t-shirt at the end of the day for you? This you is love us. all what we believe Hey, together. Ludwig, what is, what is our... Hey, Zipper, uh, bring up something on just whatever on the, the screen. What does our logo look like? It's uh, like a fence. It's, it's, it's white. Uh, there's three... There's three... Things mm -hmm. he, posts. He, he hits once again. You know what he does? How many care. horizontal posts? T two. He he knows the geometry. Mm -hmm. That's how good our logo is. And they're a little mm. slanted. Yeah. <laughs> Even he could remember it. That's how good our logo is. <laughs> yeah. That's the one we kiss. Ludwig, I'm gonna Come show on. you something in a week. I'm gonna ask you if you remember it. <laughs> uh, how was TwitchCon though? That was probably more exciting. You guys went to TwitchCon. You and Nick. Did you guys hang out? Yeah. yeah. No. Ah, you didn't think we would. I didn't. I thought you would ditch his dumbass. I mean, I would. At some points, I was busy. I had like a couple sponsor things, but we like any time <laughs> I gambled, Nick was there for the most part. To be fair, Nick was there gambling like basically the entire trip. So yeah. most people gambled with Nick at some point. <laughs> Dude, I had I had different crews that I would like bounce between tables. I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna play with the other crew really quick. I nice. go over, I'd be like, all right, what's up? I'm back. You like, like the coach? Like I was saying, I'll be, I'll go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And then like going to the other, <laughs> going to going to visit your other three, family. Three dates at once at the <laughs> casino. He was the super senior of the gambling tables. He's just was, always. I was like, why are you? Well, no one. I would have been there with you. No bro. One, Actually, I would have gone broke, but no one knew how to. I, I felt. I, so I went to SwitchCon by myself, and I felt so free. Like at any point, I had nothing to do. I would just go gamble, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I can just. Like if this wasn't in Vegas, I think I wouldn't I wouldn't have had as good of a time. But because it was, I was like, at any it was like Evo. I was like, oh yeah, casino now. This is what drinking is like for normies. I know, yeah. I know. You just do it wherever you want. Yeah, you're, you're just, just like, like oh, I have a beer. I'm now I'm just doing something. Yeah. Uh, I met uh, uh, American Pete more formally. Yep. I love that guy. The artist formerly known. I as think Pete. he. I think he's one of the best currently. I, I yeah, can say you like him a lot. Yeah, I think Pete's he's great. When I, I think, met him, he bowed at me. Pete is. I, I've always thought that's. I mean, that's just <laughs> uh, you. I think did the same a week after Japan. So yeah, but it's, yeah. it's kind of different. Than he's he been did there twelve it. No, because he's been there for a long time. Yeah, but, so he, but like he knows he's not in Japan I right now. I think he right? just holds it. No, actually, like Connor does the same shit. Like he holds a lot of like different tendencies that Japanese people do because he does it so much there. So he'll do it here. Like I'll talk to him and he'd be like, oh, "Hi." And I'm like, dude, <laughs> you can just say, yeah, relax, relax little bro. Uh, he's great. I've always uh, described him as like Will Neff and like his theater energy and his like vibrato, but like just so much more humble. <laughs> like, like 
with 3,000% more humility. <laughs> yeah, dude, so? I, I said, yes. I said, uh, I said to Connor, I was, cause Pete wasn't around. And I was like, dude, uh, Pete's really cool. Like I, I talked to him a lot earlier. He's like really cool. And he's like, yeah, Lud likes to call him Will Neff without the ego. Yeah. That was the first thing he said. That was a way to put it. You've gone around in a cleric's robe preaching this. I have. I've preached the good word. <laughs> I taught him how to play craps. He turned 40. It was his 40th birthday there. He's so old. He's Ken Chen age. Well, you don't get to say that. But yeah. Dude, he, I heard your story on stream last night where you were telling him that, like, uh, to play craps, you have to be confident. Yeah. And it, it puts so much into perspective for me because, like, Six hours after that, I was with him at a craps table, and he kept he kept yelling at everyone at the table. This game is about confidence. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, you have to be confident to play this game. Oh my God. While he's throwing just only sevens. Yeah. <laughs> I lost I lost two hundred dollars in a minute, and I was like, I'll be right back. And I went, won the money back somewhere else, and then came back and said, Hey, all right, guys. Had fun playing. That's like me shouting on a chessboard. You have to develop your pieces. Yes. Yeah, so just the first thing you learn. Not even because it's basically made up. You just throw dice. Sure. It's like yeah. chess is about heart. <laughs> yeah. It's about heart. <laughs> Get checkmated instantly. You had a gambling extravaganza. Yeah, I won five thousand dollars. He's sick. he's the picture of just just get it twisted. Just get keep it twisted. gambling. Yeah, and and there's no I have no story about it. Like none of it was interesting. You just go up. There was no I I just didn't lose hands. Number I just go only up. won hands. You, Number went up and then I left. You kept oh. winning. You came home and I I last night I had the be the beast within me. It had to be wrestled down <laughs> to the ground. And I was like, what if I went back? What if I Aiden, wanted all? What, what if I? Aiden, what if, let, I, no, what if I want it all back? Aiden, you and me, let's go to Vegas. You and me for one weekend, ten k in our pocket. We'll see what happens. Come you, on, bro. Don't you be might pussy. win like me and Nick. Yo, you got bread up. Five k. It looks so pissy. Every, it looks Every, so pissant. Look at this. You know, you know what's funny about the mm. amount of money that I won, and maybe Ludwig, depending on what that is. Uh, ew! It's don't real. bite it. It's Vegas money. It's real. It's real. It's real. No, it's Why real. Why would you? Okay. You gotta bite it to you make sure it's it. real. You got something worse than COVID. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can do the the what are the what's the TikTok brothers? The, my slime. The oh, uh, the Raj twins. Yeah, my five racks. Yeah, you got. I you kept saying my creepy. I kept saying five bands. Five <laughs> bands, bro. Uh, I uh, I went up to three k. But mostly off that craps night with Pete, where he just rolled for an hour straight and kept saying, It's printing money! <laughs> what, what was the thing you said last night? You are like, It's Venezuela! They're just printing money here! <laughs> uh, and so I went up to like 3K, and then I just stayed there the whole weekend. I didn't gamble. I, just, I only brought a thousand. I was, very, I was trying to be tame. But then at the very end, right before I left, I was with Ted. And I was like, God, I just, you know, I want more. Yeah, you know, Nick and, and Ted's like, yeah, well, Nick walked away with five k. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, hey, Peter. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, what if I, what if I put it all on one hand? What if I made more than Nick because I did one hand at the very end? So he <gasps> went to a high roller table. Oh fucking a, bro. Three k. Oh my god. And it hit blackjack. Yo. Yo. And I walked away with seventy five hundred. That is That's great. Beast. And I felt like a beast. Yeah, it guys, is beast. Guys, it's, it I feel, this is, you need to understand. This is this is <laughs> that you still This is normal. This will happen to you too. Get it? Don't even get it twisted. It's just normal. Get it? Get it twist. Oh yeah, get God. it straight and narrow. It's, it's, <laughs> the void that I'm contending with is that doesn't make back what I lost last time. That's well, fucked I have, up. I remember the void. The void. It's like a, it's like darkness inside of me. Yeah, really? He's who you want to bring into the battlefield. I can't. I, I, yeah, I would he love to. He also goes to the void too. Bro, he goes to the darker so void. Much bigger than him. Yeah, but you, he doesn't go to the void. He loses. So, he oh, loses more than I've ever met. He you goes know, to the void. It you know really pride, hurts. You but, know pride in Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, he's the smallest little yeah, yeah, yeah. guy, but he's got the biggest void. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's pride. You're pride. I'm he's not calling small. You small. I'm, calling I'm you small. the level. I'm the level one. Dude, it, That's why we should go together and let's fucking just do it. Let's get it all back. The first part of this is like not my story to tell, so I don't want to even like steal it from Will Neff. But Will Neff uh, fell ten stories in an elevator. Oh yeah, I, yeah, that on I saw on Twi Twitter. And, uh, so that happened, and he can tell that on his own accord. But I, I talked to him right after it happened. So he walks up, and I don't know if he's high from falling down an elevator or just high because he's Will Neff at TwitchCon, and he comes up to me. He's dressed like a priest. <laughs> Uh, I th which I think was like uh, he was dressed up for some occasion, but he looked like a priest. And he comes up and he's just like, "I just fell t ten stories in an elevator." And my first reaction was, "I think you were just in an elevator." <laughs> and, and you think and it falls slowly and, you think, and evenly. But then so many people, like the security, came over to interview him. I'm like, "Oh, you must have really fallen in an elevator." Uh, and then 
frame one after he does this, he looks at Connor and he goes, crane game. And he points at him and he's like, we got to play a crane game. Oh and at God, Resorts dude. World, there's a gambling crane game where you it's just the same thing as a normal crane game, except the balls are money. And you can just put in a hundred bucks and then not win anything because you didn't grab one. Uh, Will Neff goes over and just starts putting hundred dollar bills in the machine and just insta losing all his money. And I'm like, I think the elevator... And he broke him. Because what brain. is he, he? He came out of it, and he's like, "Why do I really have to?" I lose? think he came it's out. It's just fucking paper. And he was like, "Man, I want to live life to the fullest." And the first thing he could do is crane. <laughs> crane game. Game. He went back yeah. to his childhood. Yeah, he just wanted to. I just want to get the ball. He wanted the stuffed animal. He never got. The fucking shit just fell ten stories. <laughs> I will say, Twitch I almost <laughs> died. <laughs> What's the oh, picture? I have, photo, I, think, I have a photo. I think it was Will posted the photo of them like sitting outside of the elevator yeah. right after it happened because there's a group of them and everybody's like trying to put on a smile after this like very clearly harrowing <laughs> experience. And I think it's Emma in the middle that is just clearly contending with how her life may have just yeah. ended. Marsh as well. I yeah. heard Marsh was kind of shook about it. Yeah, I saw, the only time I saw him after that was walking to the front desk. And, I'll, and I was like, oh, yeah, just getting a new key. And he's like, I'm getting a refund. <laughs> I want to I wanna get comped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, fair. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, yeah, that's fair. Zipper, can you pull up my photo? This was Will Neff moments after he fell in an elevator, uh, filling out all of his personal information for security. Did he win on the crane game, by the way? No, he just kept losing. He uh, never won. Okay, that's And he sad. only wanted to play because he saw Connor, who lives in Japan. That yeah. was his whole motivation. Yeah. was like, you're the guy. Yeah. And Connor was just begging him to stop playing. <laughs> Dude, you gotta no, but stop. I got the Just guys please. here. He's like, no, you're here. You gotta do. You gotta play. You have to play it. <laughs> I don't like TwitchCon being in Vegas. Wait, back. Uh, uh, zoom it out. He looks like an understudy, <laughs> dude. This is insane. This is him filling out the. <laughs> He looks like he's fresh from Broadway. I this just, is crazy. I couldn't stop laughing because <laughs> he was just so. Look at his face. Look at his face real close. Like, look oh how zonked he is. God. <laughs> He's dressed like a time traveler. He looks, he looks like one of those. He looks like a scientist in a textbook from like 1800. Yeah, yeah. He, he looks, like, he looks a, like he's about to find an element. Friedrich Hobbes. <laughs> he's like a hired priest who does psychoanalysis on you after you fall in an elevator. So did you <laughs> confront any spirits? Did you see that's the guy. In there? That's the guy who found out most of the air is actually nitrogen. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, I'm glad he's okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I, I don't like Twitch going to be in a vague. Vegas. It why, shouldn't man, be there. Right. It's wrong. It's why, wrong. Because right. the only thing people did was Vegas stuff. It was gamble. It was go to the club. It was eat at fancy dinner on the strip. And snort coke off of boners. And snort <laughs> so much coke of so many boners. I know. I know. But it wasn't really like go to TwitchCon. Like I'm getting bone marrow on the strip. What is <laughs> what we call that? <laughs> okay. I, I bone know. marrow on the strip. <laughs> hey, Aiden, don't fucking go past that. Say it too. Say it. <laughs> bone marrow on the strip. That's right. Now, uh, what were you going to say? I was going to say, I've never been to TwitchCon. <laughs> <laughs> what? It shows. But, so but you it weren't going to say you've never done bone marrow on the strip. No, That's interesting. No. Because you, you got really quick to say you didn't go to TwitchCon. Yeah. Have you started cocaine off a dick? <laughs> no. Ever? Come on, be Never. real. We be fucking for real. Imagine a soft dick and it's just like tumbling off of it. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> it's it sad. Is. He's right. Yeah, that's, that's a sad, sad thought. You're like, oh, it's getting everywhere. Because maybe he can't get it up anymore and it's like, can't, can't keep his partner happy. Why are you <laughs> you're giving so much smack story to this guy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, uh, anyway, I haven't been to TwitchCon. Yeah. <laughs> what What is a normal TwitchCon like? What do you mean yeah, by you, that? You've done a couple. I thought this one was more fun than the last like three. Yeah, because you spent the whole time at the casino yeah, and you won five thousand dollars. Yeah. No. Something about this one. I just want <laughs> to know. I already more. ran this bit. I ran this bit myself. <laughs> it, I know. I thought the event was better. If you <laughs> lost five thousand dollars, would you feel this way? Of course not. I'd be in shambles. <laughs> yeah, I think Beast. TwitchCon oh. normally is like, you know, you got the convention. And the convention was better this time. I think so. The actual, like, uh -huh. TwitchCon no aspect. broke their fucking tailbone like Bam Margera. A guy that was dressed up as the foam pit from last, like, the two years ago. <laughs> like, he was, it was like, a, had a Lenovo sticker on it, and it was like, don't, don't dive. Yeah. I see. That's that's okay. And I, it was like funny that the, the second I saw him, and then he like, and then never again. And then three days in a row, he's still wearing it. And also, oh. it's like ninety eight degrees outside. And I'm like, it's not even worth it. 
<laughs> I walked from Mandalay Bay. <laughs> yeah, it was four miles. <laughs> that guy died of heat stroke. <laughs> uh, and then, but usually they have like additional things in the evening, like festivities. But most of the festivities felt like they were handled by clubs. So it wasn't like, yeah, you know, TwitchCon party. Like one year they rented out, I think it was like AT&T Stadium in like the Bay. Uh, and they had like a bunch of inflatable. Oh, yeah. Stuff that you could play on that was really fun. Everything was like like Dolce and Gabbana is doing a party at a club. Like it was all like that. Yeah. So and I gambled instead. Man, fuck all this shit, bro. I went to the fucking. I went to Detroit. <laughs> I went to Detroit <laughs> to yeah. watch Super yeah. Smash Brothers man, and play Super Smash Brothers. Went to Did City you also gamble? Instead. No, there's a casino strike. Oh really? Yeah. Holy but shit. I didn't really want to either. It's but it was just like the, the, we were all workshopping how to make it ethically okay. If you go and gamble and you play against the scab dealer and you win, what you do is you just you don't give the money back to the casino. You you leave. So if you gamble and win, you have beaten the, <laughs> Such a stupid. <laughs> yeah, we were all. Everyone was trying to workshop it to make them feel okay. But I don't. I think most people just didn't go to the casino. We were yeah. actually all pretty cool about it. We we're like, yeah, fuck it. If they're striking, like, solidarity. That's good. We'll just gamble on melee matches. Yeah. Yeah, so you think you're, you're, you're regal because you went to Detroit. What'd you say? You're regal. Regal? Yeah. Like regal? It means, it's like a word that means, like, one with the people. Rooted, grounded, regal. Can you, I just, I'm not, uh, can you look this up, Zipper? I think he's wrong. I don't think we should. <laughs> I think we should move on. <laughs> regal, that of a movie theater. Uh, regal means like kingly, yeah. kingly and such, uh, resembling Re a monarch. Yeah, fit for a monarch. It's actually the opposite. So you're not regal, that's right? Just, that's what you should have said. In a way, I'm regal. It's regal, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Well, no, do the voice thing. Regal. It's do, regal. Get, do scroll the voice up, thing. Scroll up, zipper. zipper. Click the click the. Wait. Yeah, give me it. Regal. Regal. Zipper's watching Big House. <laughs> yeah, I do hear Big House. I guess we know what Zipper does now. <laughs> <laughs> just watches sets. Uh, no, I don't think I'm better than you. It's just like I, 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 the idea of like Dolce and Gabbana is fucking come over to the Prada fucking after party where you, you can do liquid coke in your eyes and fucking off a boner. You know, off a boner. Said, if boners for I can see it right. I, I, I went to that party. I had That's a gross. few people. Uh, I signed a lot of uh, badges as Aiden at TwitchCon because I had a lot of people think I was Aiden at TwitchCon. That's so funny. Uh, How? People came up I... and they're like, oh, uh, Aiden. And oh. I said, yes. They just want to collect the that's fucking new, baseball That's card. my new thing, is I say, yes. And they go, oh, I love the yard. I say, thank you, I'm Aiden. <laughs> and none of them bat an eye. They don't ever... And uh, one, <sighs> so one guy fake. came up. One guy, one guy came up, and he was like... Uh, he's holding us like a, like a camera on a stick. And he comes up, and he, and he sees me, and he, he freezes instantly. He goes, oh! And I'm like, hello. And I stare at him, he keeps looking back. He goes, Aiden. And I say... Yes, <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, I almost, I almost got it. Like I almost fucked it up. Like I've almost forgot your name. And I'm like, you got it. You're there. And he, and he goes to like, he brings his hand up in this really weird way. Like I don't know what he's doing, but I assume it's like a high five. So I kind of meet him there, and then we, we like, I force it into a high five, even though I don't think it was meant to be. And I feel there's something in his hand, and I'm like, what is this? So I, I, I like do this, and it's a box of nerds. And I'm like, you're just holding this? I take this from you? And he's like, well, I was gonna throw this at you. And I was like, I, I was like, wow, what? I, I, I like, I like kind of laugh. I'm like, what? And he's like, I'm doing a bit where I go up to like all the big streamers and I throw candy at them. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think they're going to like that. I don't think you should do that. I'm so glad. And he like, he, he starts laughing and he's like, yeah, it's just like a bit I'm doing. Like it was right over what I said. <laughs> and I'm like. Cool. All right. It was nice to meet you, man. <laughs> you know, he, so he throws the nerds. You don't get it. Yeah, yeah. I right. guess I he must not get it. He throws it at your head. But it was so funny. Little box corners. Like, I, I think what I did when I high-fived him was I intercepted his throw. Yeah. Like, I, like, stopped oh, so him. Oh, he was about to. Like, I thought he was going to throw candy at me. I didn't know that, but I thought he was going for a handshake, so I just stopped him. Because we high five like this. That's game like sense. Your hands were like this, and he's just like frozen in time. He's passive no idea game sense. Passive mm. game sense. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, I'm gonna I was gonna throw it at you. And I'm like, but he wasn't confident. Like he was very nervous about oh, it. That's so <sighs> pathetic. Just be uh, confident if you're gonna be fucking. I would love to candy. see slime at TwitchCon. It would have been bad. Meet and greet line. Dude, yeah, it, a, it would a, be Mike Vallely fights five guys in a parking lot. There's a guy you can you can you can ask a Radstad. There's a guy I'm not gonna tell a story about because I will not put him 
on camera or give him any notoriety. I had a very negative interaction. Yeah. And uh, you would have... I walked away. The first thing I said was, if Slime was here, that guy might be dead. <laughs> is that bad? It was bad, yeah. yeah. That sucks. Well, it's like... Look, TwitchCon is kind of a, 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 a festering French bed full of bed bugs not, or things like that. It's mainly not like it's full of ana- festering, yeah. insects, festering it's gross, gross French secular event. bed. <laughs> Why is the bed secular? It just has to be. Well, like, and like, we just need the church back in back in charge to straighten <laughs> the streamers these, are like beds and these the bed streamers bugs are like fans. TwitchCon is gonna be a place where weirdos will cut like like will that will ruin your time. That's why I thought Big House was sick because it was like ugh. No matter how quote unquote like awkward or cringe or whatever people like will come up or or that go. It's like at least we're all here for this fucking this game. And that was a really nice feeling. It was it was a reminder of why I love the game a lot, and I played a lot, and it was great. Yeah, to, um, to be fair, most people were very cool. Yeah, and, and I'm sure, and that's usually yeah. the case too. Most people Dude, are fine. I had an interaction that 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 healed my heart, and I understand the joy of TwitchCon. Joy, because I had a bunch of meet and greets, met a bunch of people, and you know, they you, you hear the same thing. You know, of like, hey man, like I watched your video, you made me want to be a streamer. Or, you know, like I like watching your stuff, got me through hard time. In one ear, out the other. Whoop. And I'm like, hey man, want to pick? <laughs> Uh, and but then I was talking. Give me your phone. I'll take the selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it better. Let's do it now. Every time I think about the meet and greet line, I think about Carl telling us about how he had optimized the line like perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mr. Phone Beast angle. Too. They're nervous. Their fingers are shaky. And they always go, "Hey, you got longer arms." When I say, "I'll take it," I would say, "I'll take the phone and take the picture." Which like, yeah, you got longer arms. Can't be true with your ape <laughs> index. I well, yeah, I do have. <laughs> A bad ape index. Anyway, <laughs> I talked to I, talk, I was talking to a streamer named Tevin. All right, so I was talking to Tevin. 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 Yeah, it's his name. <laughs> yeah, it's two guys combined into one. Tyler <laughs> and Kevin used to be it's, friends. It's like we made up a name. Yeah, it's a real name. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> so I was talking to Tevin. He wanted to do a thing together, and then I was going to the purple lounge, which is like the the super VIP lounge. Tevin couldn't get it in the lounge, so we were separating our ways. There was a guard blocking the lounge. All right, guard's name's Julian. Julian, nice guy, sitting there. And then Tevin walks away. And then the guard, a little shy. He's a nervous guy. So he like doesn't even make eye contact when he's talking to me. You know, he's like, he's, he's, he's just, but he's like, was that, was that Tevin? <gasps> and I was like, uh, yeah, that was, that was Tevin. He's like, oh shit, man. Like I watch a lot of videos. He really makes me laugh. Oh, I was like, that's really sweet. Like, do you want to say hi? He's like, I, 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 I couldn't bother him. I can't leave this post too, but it's just really cool to see him. And I was like, this is the most wholesome thing ever. So I'm like, Tevin, trash over here. Get your ass over here. Tevin, Tevin runs over. He's like, what's up? It's like this guy, li- this guy likes you, and he gives the most just heartfelt. He's like, yeah, man, I just, I, I love all the stuff you do with like Berlizzi. It's really funny, and and like, I, you know, I watch you like on lunch, and it's, uh, yeah, I just think, you, I just think you're really cool. That's great. And it was just, it was just like straight up wholesome, and he was like, again, like very shy. Like felt like this was like a, like a, you know, he was happy to do this. Little heart. It, oh, dude, it melted me. Oh. It melted me. And I, I told Tevin before that I was going to do a collab with him, lied through my teeth. But then after that. <laughs> <laughs> but after I found out he's famous. Because, because of Julian. Your Grinch heart. Because of Julian, I will do something with Tevin. Wow, that's so nice of you to, to stay true to your word you said to a man. Yes. <laughs> now I feel bad because I told Tevin no. Really? Oh, you told him no? Well, he invited me and you onto a drinking anime show. Tevin, that's a like, bad idea. I was like, that's the wrong people. Yeah. That's what I said. I'm like, it's the wrong people. Also, Tevin, you have a weird name. No, he's fine. He has a weird name. <laughs> Don't he does that. have a weird name. He does have a weird name. We're just telling truths. That's yeah, all we I do. I got a weird name. More Armenians in rock. Tevin has a weird name. The French are a scourge on this planet. Okay. I feel like one of those is wrong. Oh, which one? Uh, Armenians and Rock. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's just moving just... down and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, all you get. We, we hit, hit one mascot. We hit the base. <laughs> Uh, that's really cute. I like that you had a, a nice moment. Moment. Yeah, it was moment cute. Moment of brilliant. Moment. Of, Ludwig's moments <sighs> of brilliance. From Intel. It was cute, man. What? Nothing. You guys all did fun, fun stuff. This oh, morning. I got fucking. What did you do instead of go to big? Yeah, house? what did you do by yourself? I well, I, I help my girlfriend move furniture into her new apartment. Uh, that's wow. That's, that's good. Pretty good. All right, yeah. yeah. That's a yeah. And explored her new neighborhood and <laughs> went to a nice. <laughs> and did you, really and nice did you let her know that did you tell her that from now on? And I said, from now on, I would. I'll <laughs> now never have a new apartment. <laughs> never fucking. <laughs> I will no longer <laughs> ever. Won't ever. From we'll, now we'll on. From never now, ever. From the apartments. <laughs> from the apartments <laughs> lease christening. <laughs> I Aiden. Not because of, but related to. 
I promise you. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, everyone. Uh, well, this is sponsored by Factor Meals, which uh, is good because our friend Josh is here and doesn't know how to cook food. No. He doesn't know how to make food at all, and I think Factor it's would true. be good for him. To be fair, I don't either. God. But you know as a fun little Halloween treat? Because it's fall season, and mm. it's like kind of in the festivities of it. Instead of carving a pumpkin... I carved the Factor logo into Josh's forehead. <laughs> into his forehead, and it's there forever. And now when he's hungry, he can look in the mirror and know what to make. That's right. Do you, can you put a light to let it shine? Or is it just... No, yeah, you can... I, I have to scoop out his skull <laughs> right. and put a light bulb in and there, it, and you um, can see... And it flashes the Factor logo onto the wall. Yeah. And Or you could scoop out some mashed potatoes into your <laughs> mouth from a Factor box. Uh, and it tracks your macros, which is cool if you work out. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you Josh do. Josh doesn't do that, though. There's a lot of fall <laughs> options for what I did to my friend. Right. It was like a saw trap. And the fall options, things like cranberry, pecan, chicken, mm -hmm. apple, Dijon, pork chop. That sounds great. These are, these are exclusive. I'm so hungry. Special little fall options for your special little fall mouth. They got 30 I, I know plus. what you're thinking. Hello, Fresh. You gotta, you gotta cook it. You gotta like put the ingredients. I don't want to do that. I just want the box. Like Rodney yeah. Rich. I, I want to put this. I want to put Rodney. the food in a box. I want how to eat the food out of a box. That's what you're thinking. Uh, you so, think you know, go ahead and go to factormeals.com <laughs> slash the yard 50 mm. and you can get factor meals sent to your house. If you use the code, the yard 50, you should, yard the yard 50 five zero, you should use the code for Josh because he doesn't know how to cook food. I will use the code for Josh if he is still alive right now, which he might not be uh, America's number one ready to eat meal kit. He might not be. That's not it's good. And I'll have to go home and it's good enough for our Australian uh, friend who doesn't I think know he'll how to be cook. Okay. Put him in the bin. And I can't wait to feed him like a, like a baby. And we're going to feed you more <laughs> podcast now <laughs> yeah that's funny and I, I mean and i watched big house and i played oh i i played a little a little valorant and uh there was this there was this one guy i met and he his tag in the game was squishy and we're playing we're winning but he's very toxic he's flaming the whole time any mistake any of the other four people in the game make he will immediately jump on and dunk on and he it is constant through the entire game. And then we start to lose and it somehow even gets worse. And this person just becomes so miserable to play with because we don't even have the fact that we're winning anymore. So he's just, so you just cute into Dawson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dawson's all alone, man. He's swinging in the dark uh, right now. <laughs> and uh, I get really frustrated by the end of this game because at first, because we were winning and the way he was kind of saying it, I thought it might just be like a bit. And I was like, what? D just stop, man. Like, it's like, you can't keep this up. We're winning. You got to stop, har ha stop harping on these people. He wasn't even like mad at me the most. He was like flaming at one of the other people in the lobby. I'm like, this is just not a cool thing, even if you think it's funny. Uh, I get, I I'm just super frustrated. We lose. And I add him after the game is over. <laughs> Talk shit. Classic Aiden move. Because I think, I no, He think wants to fix him. Mm. And then date I him probably. I think mm. it would be funny to ask this guy to play with me again. Because he so obviously hated it. And I add him. He immediately adds me back. Hops into my lobby. And I'm like, hey, man, want to play again? And he's just total change of, like, tone and stuff. And he's like, yeah. like uh, he's, he's very relaxed, very chill. Like, this whole persona from the game has disappeared. And I'm very surprised. And I'm like, okay, well. Maybe he's that's... not like a 51st dates type thing. <laughs> oh. Maybe he resets after every game. He forgets every game. And uh, I, in the background... Of, of us queuing, I hear like a child screaming or like a baby crying. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what's what's going on? Like, are you at home? Like, is that like your sibling or something? He's like, no, that's my baby. Oh, my God. And in dude. the game, I had asked him how old he was. He's 23. And I'm like, dude, how old's your kid? And he's like four months. And I was like, 23, four month old kid. And he's just like, and I'm like, what are you like? Wh why do you play the game, man? And we're like talking back and forth. And he's like, I solo queue only. I basically just like, I frag out and I don't care. I had a, an account in Immortal 3 and I got banned. <laughs> so I started a new account and I fucking hate this rank. I hate like, and I just boot it up and I play like over and over again. And I'm like, man, that's, that and is crazy, fucks. man. And he does confirmed. canonically fuck. Con confirmed. And I, and I'm beginning to build this picture of this guy. And we play the next game. It goes really poorly. We lose. 
all the gas is taken out of this guy's like attitude though like he has uh, there's a, a little less confidence he's not even flaming anybody anymore and we just lose the game and it ends and i'm like dude this guy you have to understand the first game this guy was so miserable to play with he was a very mean terrible person like he said <laughs> awful shit and but by the end of the game i'm like fuck dude and i can still hear the baby crying in the background <laughs> and i ask him i was like hey man so you know what's it like being a dad <laughs> and he's just like he just he just kind of sighs and he's like you know man it's hard <laughs> oh, oh my, my god, god. <laughs> i i you know if you have stuff you want to do or like things you're thinking about doing with your life i wouldn't have one. Oh. Oh, and I'm just like, cause not only, <laughs> and, and I like was like yelling at this guy in the first game no, fuck and I've made, and I, I, he wasn't awful and I, and, but I made him, I like, I made him cue with me again. <laughs> tell your, and, tell your girlfriend in real dude, life. Like and, I'm reconsidering the kid thing. I met this guy on the video game. I like, yeah, and, and he I was, asked me some questions that I had to confront. And then I was like, oh, yeah, oh man, that's really hard. And then he just, he starts opening up. He's like, it's yeah. It's just like. It changes everything about your relationship. Like, it's not about us anymore. It's just about the kid and, like, who's doing more and who's doing what. And, like, all the, like, all the, like, passions gone. Oh, my and God. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I just cracked. I, I have done my <laughs> own version of Sprinter Views. Yes. And I've just cracked open this young parent who, like, is so... All he has is, like, running it down and top fragging on Reyna. And his and his life is ju his young life is just taken over by yeah, being a father. People in Ascendant are just roadblocks for his dopamine receptors. Like <laughs> he needs Raina kills to feel something. Yeah, and that's why he's so bad. Oh, because everyone has a roadblock. And I was just like, shit, dude. Um, I'm sorry. Like, I, you know, I and I, I talked to him a bit about it. I was like, I understand. I think part of the, one of the things I think about is like part of being ready to have a kid or wanting to have a kid is like having done all these things I wanted to do. And like, I, oh, I, that's a nice we're, thing we're, to say to a human going, being. Yeah. Just complain about just, having yeah, yeah, like, just like, just like, <laughs> No, that's actually what I was waiting for. <laughs> so, so what I, I no. did. I, I, so, I phrased that poorly. I phrased it poorly. Have, like, like, have you thought about starting a podcast? That's not what I said. I found like a that's solution that worked for me. So check out the Patreon. This is how much I make. Yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Every month. Isn't that If you have a friend who really likes to run the whole thing, you can basically just do it. But but it was just weird because by the end of this, because I saw so I fucking hated this guy in the first game. He was so, he made he made every minute of the first game fucking miserable to play. And by the end of this, I'm just like, we're we're friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you've connected. And, I'm, and I felt I felt bad for him. And I was like, I hope I hope you win all your games. Yeah. I hope you get out of Ascendant. And I hope you. And I hope you and your girlfriend reignite your relationship. And I <laughs> and then you unfriended him. <laughs> no, I still have him on. <laughs> and uh, what a what a yeah. I mean, that's that's every humanizing everyone. That's like like again when you go to events and you meet the people that like like you or something. You're like, oh, this is so much less incendiary than seeing some shitter on Twitter or something like that. Yeah. I like, think that was very sweet of you, Eamon. He, it was I, good to connect. It was it was kind of it was kind of nice. I didn't expect it. I thought he was gonna be a prick and was just like flame me for my bad stats or something, and then it would be the the end of this kind of funny interaction, and then it turned into this like journey into young parenthood, and I was just like, oh shit. I did the same thing. I tried it on stream. I tried to sprint interview someone, and w I just added them, and they were being really fucking mean. And it was these two two guys, and then they just like oh, you talked to both of them. Uh, well, I got into their party. Oh. And then they're, they're just like, hey, what's up, man? And then they just queue up with me in the party. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. We're enemies. What are you doing? It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah this is like a thing. Like people on like, game, like Valorant and stuff, they, no matter what happens, they'll just queue with you right after. I don't know what it is. I, maybe it's way. It's maybe zoomer, we're finding it's, it's, it's all lonely. This guy, this guy told me he was like everything that I'm saying and happens in the game. Like I, I literally do not care. It's like a joke to me. So as soon as we're like out. It's like it doesn't even. Compute I think. I anymore. mean, it's not like the people are a joke to him. Like he's okay saying it because the people are not people. He has not humanized them. Yeah. And then in the same way, because he's saying it, they don't humanize him in return. Yeah. Because the interaction will dissipate forever and probably forever, ever. I so do think. It, I though. do think it was harder for like him it. to flame me when I did bad in the second game because I did do badly. 
Uh, but he couldn't say shit because you're cause, friends now. Because we're talking, because we're like, I'm asking him questions about like his kid. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this was my shield. Yeah, <laughs> you've, you've, that was my Twitch con this weekend. Is <laughs> that's what I did instead. You, you met someone. That was your Julian. <laughs> he was so much meaner than my Julian. <laughs> what was okay? If everyone go around. What was the best part of your weekend? You might have already said it. The middle part of your weekend and the worst part of your weekend. I'll double down my best. It was uh, actually not Julian. Oh, so you don't give a fuck about OG? No, I do really care about OG. But I also <laughs> met Haylight, who's like this YouTuber I've been coaching for 18 months. And I haven't... H-A-L-I-T-E? Yeah. yeah. You've been okay. coaching? Yeah. As like, to be like big YouTuber? Oh, like in the craft of mm -hmm. tubing. Yeah, I thought I'd make a video about it, but then I didn't because I thought it was like silly to say that his success is my credit. So I just never did. But did I just, you tell him to make the title, this YouTuber did this, instead of name the person? I gave him advice. I don't know the specific ones, but that's it. <laughs> I hate when he says that shit. I hate when he says that shit. You prefer to say the name? Say the name. You prefer like, at Squeaks15 and I play video games. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <be> please continue. <laughs> that's a really good idea. Um... So that I met him first time I met him in person and uh, and we chatted. And at this point, I've I've I kept doing the rounds and one table I'd go to. I won't name their names, but I kept getting a pen. And then every time I saw them, they would hand me the pen. It was like reactionary and I would hit the pen. And so I, I'm the pen had really taken me aback and I went to pay the bill because I paid for bottles of the table and I fucked up the math so many times with a tip that they had to print a new receipt. Yeah. And come out with a calculator. <laughs> So that's where I was at in my mental faculties <laughs> when I ran into Haylight. But it was also very emotional to meet Haylight. Mm -hmm. And I felt, you know, there talking in the conversation, but I wept. I wept openly. What? At this club Dude, with Matty on five feet away from me <laughs> playing shelter. <laughs> We're your friends and we can't even get you there? And this we, guy got you there? It took my I'm dad sure we, to die to see you cry. I'm sure we can get him there if we have him hit the pen that many times. I think it'd be hard to ever get me there because, like, if I started opening up, fucking Nick would drop a one liner. Come Aiden, on. Aiden no, I wouldn't. Is that what it. you think of us? <laughs> yes. Zipper has it. 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 No, I wouldn't, man. Yeah. I'd give you a big hug. But it, it'd been like, you know, 18 months of working with him. And he was just very, uh, he was very uh, appreciative of me in a way that I wasn't prepared for. And that was the best part. That was Do the best you part. think you would have wept openly like a, like a widow? Right. Like a See, this is why I can't. What? <laughs> Widows weep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just don't like being compared to a widow. Why not? Do you don't like being compared to a woman? Do you, I just, do you guys... Does that bother you? Do you guys know part. about alpha widows? Just... This is something Jake told me about. We could get to it. What, what was the worst part of your okay, weekend? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Would you have cried if the pen wasn't involved? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah, yeah. Man, he hates us. I cried dude. at Elemental on the airplane. He fucking hates us, bro. I cry, the Pixar movie that everyone hates, I cried. I so, wept openly, too, on the plane. So what is wrong plane? with you lately? What fucking happened? Was what it Japan? Mean? I always cry. I cry a lot. Bro, no, you don't. You don't yes, cry do. a lot. Do you? What conversation are we having that I'm supposed to weep openly? When you're going, Devin, remember when we were beasts? And then I break down because I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> I would, yeah, I mean, you're making sense now. I would love if that happened. You have no it idea. Doesn't, it doesn't... <laughs> But do you think we, wait, do we not have, wait, I guess he does keep it all business with us. That's my shield, is I say dubbing, because I'm afraid, but I've been opening up in chat too, that's why I said the thing I said today. It was a sweet thing to say. Yeah. And I, and Are I, you going to cry? I, I almost wept openly when I read it. <laughs> you cry? You cry? Okay, anyways, all right. Middle part, best worst part. part. No, you give someone else best part. Best part. Uh, best part was when, okay, so Ludwig went to Diplo. He went to, at TwitchCon. And then I got a message from Cutie, and Cutie said, hey, are you gambling right now? And I said, of course I am. Yes, I'm gambling. And she was like, I'm going to come gamble with you because Ludwig wants to go to Diplo, and I want to do that. And I was like, okay. So then me and Cutie meet up, and then we sit down at a blackjack table with me, her, Quarter Jade, Sidion, and I think Will Neff. Uh, that, that chair rotated a few times. Um... And I think that table was the most fun I had. Really? The entire trip. Everyone was just, everyone was winning for the most part. Mm. And everyone was having a goof and a gaff. And we were all betting this. if someone went big, the whole table went big. And then we'd win. And mm. This one's going to bust. And then he walks away. 
Will Will doesn't know how to play blackjack, I guess, oh. because so he kept look he kept going, Nick, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, now this is a stay. And he'd be like, I stay. <laughs> and, 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 That's so and the, good. Your the, all, all the momentum would just slow down as it as it <laughs> that, went to Will. Inflection was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was probably my highlight. My my middle was. Uh, uh, me and Radstads waited in a 45 minute line for Dunkin' Donuts in the venue, and then uh, the drink was the worst drink I've had. It Dunkin's shit. No, it's no, not. It fucking no, sucks. no, it's not. Venue Dunkin', I think they literally just make, like, I think the, the convention center has, like, their own drinks, and they just put Dunkin' Donuts as the brand. Take it back. I won't. <laughs> take I've it never back. had a good Dunkin' drink, and I won't take, no, take it back. Dunkin's trash, but this no. was worse than normal. This was like, like me and Rats like both drank up. it and looked at each other. It was like a chai. We were like, it tastes like banana. Like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. And we had like a group all taste it. They all went like, oh, what the fuck? And yeah. then we just threw it away. I was bummed about that. Their blueberry syrup is yummy. He likes the blueberry syrup. Um. All right. Worst part was probably that interaction that cannot be named. Yeah, and then worst was that guy who like harassed me with the evil soul of man. Yeah, and then I the, that guy he ended up following me later, and I was just like, and I recognized him from Twitter. Like yeah. he's like a somewhat big account, oh, and I was just like, oh, that's the guy from Twitter. I can't wait to dish in after real this. life. I'm gonna dish. Uh, I'm just and I just blocked him. I don't block anyone. And I was like, oh, I'm just never ever 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 gonna interact with this guy ever again. I can't wait to dish. Love yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna love I'm dishing. Dish, you're gonna love dishing. You're gonna like dishing. I ride Durbin, ride the man. I run you, <laughs> man. You're my little bear, and I run you forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Is, forever. Oh, wait, I have a second. I have a, I have a, a way worse. Like, I have a one I can actually talk about. My worst was um, earlier in this, in this event, I met Kaide, and she was extremely nice. And, and it was just like a very small interaction, but she was like very cordial and blah, blah, blah. Later in the event, I see Zekin, who is walking in Resorts World, <laughs> and, and 18, kid, so bro. he can barely get close to the table. <laughs> and I, I see him, and I wave, and he's with Kaide. So I wave, and Kaide waves back, thinking I'm waving at her, but okay. I was waving at Zekin behind her. And I, just in a moment of like, conf- like kind of confusion, like I fumble this situation really badly. Like I, like I go like... Oh, I was like, oh. Oh. but I realized the second I did that, oh. I realized the second I did that, like how rude that was, oh. but I wasn't trying oh. to be rude and, I, and it clearly was really. And so she oh. kind of like went, oh, and like, just like walked away. And I was like, oh, oh no, I'm oh. Oh. And it was too late. Oh, dude. And, and so, then, so then Zekin walks over and I'm like, hi, Zekin. And, 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 he, and he's like, and he doesn't know this happened. He doesn't see this at all. He's, happy he's, to see he's just like, hey, you winning? And I'm like, yes, son, I'm winning. <laughs> when you turn 21, I'll ruin your life. I, I'm like, try, I'm like, fuck. And I, you know, I don't know her. So I have no. So so Kaide, I'm very sorry if you see this. If there's any way this gets to you, it was not on purpose. And you were very nice. You just saw someone he liked more. It was. I felt, dude, I, it, it haunted me the rest of the weekend. And I'm like, I really hope I bump into her again on accident. So I can just be like, about earlier. I'm really sorry. Wait, I hung out with her. She kept bringing it no. up. <laughs> Don't say She's that, like, you bro. Do the I felt bad. Dick, right? Yeah, that guy's a dick. He's a dick. He's not nice. It, it haunted me all weekend. I felt so bad. That one, those ones do hurt. Those ones keep you up at night. I had a party trick the entire weekend, which was bringing out this. I was going to say eight grand. Camel yeah, crushes? Bro. He's just into cigarettes now. Yeah, and then he, he goes, just, menthols. Have you been smoking? No. This is a fresh pack. They're a f- completely fresh pack that I bought the first day because there's no menthols in California oh. except at like certain gas stations. So that you maybe smuggled do it cigarettes like a fucking mob member. No, I bought them in Vegas. Oh yeah, to California. Yes, the childproof, bro. What's going on? Yeah, the childproof. It's hard. They're packed uh, up tight. I'm giving you the lucky one. And so that was that was my thing. Is I would, I would walk around, I'd take it out, and I would like I would like debate smoking it, but I never smoked one. Mm. And uh, and I was I was in a Uber on the way to Diplo with Kai Day. <laughs> and then I, and I and I like I had it and I forget why I was just holding it because me and Sierra were gonna smoke one but then I lost it. Dude, everyone's into smokes and everyone's into smokes and I know smoking's back because even Kaida was like, "Wait, you were in an Uber on the way to Diplo with Kaida?" Yeah. Then then what happened to me happened right before that. Oh yeah yeah no that's where she brought that's it up. why that's why her mood was that's why she wanted so to smoke she, bro. yeah and she brought it up and she and she said I want to smoke. <laughs> I'm going Actually, right now. Like, she what? did. She was like, she was like, can I have one? I was like, have you ever smoked? She's like, no. Oh my God. And I was like, Nick, you, t- you monster. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I cannot be somebody's first cigarette. That's like, that's it. That's so bad. <sighs> yeah, it's fucked up. You're the road to addiction. Dubbin. I know. I it's know. fucked up because you're not even about Dubbin, it. Dubbin, remember when we were so Like if Dubbin. Ryan was in that Uber? 
And Cody's like, I'm I just about be like, yeah, sure. I just like smoking one menthol because uh, I had a regular cigarette, but I like smoking one menthol after a nice Dude, long night of fucking. Drinking. These idiot viewers were telling their girlfriends that they'd never cheat on them because we said something. What do you think this is gonna do? Smoke cigarettes and gamble. <laughs> Ludwig says cigarettes are healthy <laughs> and they make you cooler. Uh, best part of my trip was I uh, I saw Josh Man. By the way, offers open. He comes today. So if you guys right, want, so right, yeah. So you, I'll just send him to your house. Ah, uh, you seem so because you said it was about the driving, but it feels Josh like it's not should about stay the driving. With, Josh Man should stay with you guys, oh, dude. That'd be wow. so. I'm fun. gonna teach him how to drive. <laughs> you teach him how to drive. You can live your house. Drive. You can live nah, your house. But because I, I have to teach him how, he has to drive places. Yeah, I'll tell you. So what if I teach him? I'll teach him. Yeah, and the then we'll him. drive. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. He can Unlike live with you. Us, yeah. you have a large available room for him. Don't Goon you miss Miles? I do miss Miles. I was sad when Josh close. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fucking around. It'll be really fun. I'm really excited. He comes today, but I saw Josh at Big House, and um, you know, it's 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 like you see your fucking your long Wait, lost he wife. Was there? Yeah, I yeah. This was his first trip. You know, the first visa trip. I didn't see him top sixteen. Oh, uh, I didn't see him top thirty two. Oh, come on, he was there. Well, I let me tell him. you. Let me tell you about a, a Falco <sighs> player from the old school called the Real Thing. Yo, <laughs> he lost to the Real the Thing. Real, the real thing. thing. It was a dude, crazy. You know, it was a. He's so good. Cody dude. won the whole tournament, and Real yeah, Thing. I saw almost stopped tweet. the run. Hmm? I saw Hunger Box's tweet. Yeah, with the, <laughs> with the, with the, with the OC. You. With the OC. Yeah. With the OC. He, he runs, runs you. Me. Yep. Look at that. That's the OC. And I said, Aiden posted this already. Aiden runs you. And then he said, mine has OC pick no contest. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> and because, he's so right. Because dude. the facts are, he also put set count. Oh, uh, no, because it was too bulky. You I know, mean, no, no, I mean, that, that, that reads clean. All. That reads clean. That reads clean. God, nope. so you're fucking, you're, you're H-box engagement H-box farming you. That's crazy. Hbox runs you. I run you. runs you. I run Ludwig. He runs me, and I run you. I run, you. Runs me, I I I run, run you. Nick. Nick kind of runs me. Nick runs you. So in the in the train, he is at the top of the centipede. Kind of. You don't run anyone. I send back the blocks that you guys eat that are made from people, like Snowpiercer. And you're getting my shit. Who does Aiden run? Um, I don't know, Uber drivers? like. No, we were going to run, Aiden. Eamon. You were Eamon, your little, your little brother? little brothers. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, bro. He's kind of cool. He knew what trend was before we did. Yeah, but like older yeah. brothers are just... I think both you know. little brothers are like really cool. That's the <sighs> unfortunate part of this. All right, best part of my... T- is, is meeting up with Josh and hanging out. And like the first thing we did when we saw each other, he comes up behind me, taps me on the shoulder. I'm like, jump! And I hug him. And then we spent uh, probably an hour... Because I had to play pools I had, like in an hour, and he had already played, I think. And we're just sitting against this wall on this very edge of the venue where there's a, a, a pool going on. So there's like people walking around, and people be c- coming up to me and subsequently him to get like signatures or pictures or whatever. And it, it kind of felt like we were dealing drugs because <laughs> we were just like hanging out by a wall, just like kind of posted up. Mm. People come up, get their thing, and then and then leave. And uh, the bands were high. Uh, there, there were other people around. We were just, it was just like, fuck, this is really what it's all about. Josh and is a dope. great person for you to be in a venue with because he's a great neutralizer. If someone came up and was annoying and then you started to vibrate, like he would be the perfect person to diffuse. He, but he diffuses in a way that makes everyone a winner as well. Yes. It's, it's so, he's really good. He's, I love that guy. Yeah, you guys should hero. take him. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what's the middle part? Yeah, middle, middle part, part. Middle part was my bracket run. I lost to a Pikachu that was doable. That was unfortunate. But, you know, that's how, that's neither here nor there. But, you know, that's what happens when you don't practice. Worst part was the worst. P- oh, it's too mean if I say it. Say it. That's okay. Say it the it. worst part was this. I was on a setup. I'm playing with the Leaf from Texas, who's fucking clobbering me. The Leaf's very good. And this Link player, who's also clobbering me. That was fine. I'm learning. This is great. I'm having a fun time on the setup. And this fan comes up, and he asks, hey, can I get some games with you? Which means I have to get off the setup I'm having fun on. And I'm like, yes. Yes. Why you say yes? Because I said no to someone before in that same session, and I felt bad. And the guy just really wanted to. <laughs> and there's Shake Drizzle calling me a pussy. And and so I I get so I get up off of the setup and he's a Falcon player and we we're both playing Falcon and he's like not very good and it's like okay I'm just playing and he's just like saying all the lines that is like oh okay yes and but I'd be really nice and then he finally takes a game 
And then he's like, now I'm going to go back to all my friends and tell them I beat, took a game off slime. And I just like, I look at him and I roll my eyes as if to say, I don't like that. And he just said, ah, I'm not trying to be a dick though, but I did take a game off you. This is your, this and is- I'm like, and it's like, all right, you know what? And then, but you know, I got up and I said, GG's and it was fun and it was fine. And, and that then, was the worst part, which isn't even that bad. No, so it was a good weekend. It was yeah. a really good weekend. My worst part is I got fleeced at a club for 10K. Dude, oh, yeah. What? That sucked. How? Because I got How? fucked up. And those, the, those damn waitresses are snakes. Aiden, they're rats. The, be, the be, women specifically. To be clear, <laughs> the waitresses? This was karma. What? What happened to you? From what? From the Lily thing. No, no. Tell the story. Tell them what happened. What happened? Devin? What happened is so we go to the club, the Dolce Gabbana Razor Offline TV <laughs> Zook nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Bud Light. <laughs> Brought to you by at, Monsanto <laughs> at TwitchCon 2023, and uh, and it's I I got a super VIP wristband, which basically means I can sit sit and stand behind. You the shouldn't be allowed at this shit. You're a YouTube streamer. It's, they should have shot you on so site. It's so funny. You're getting all of these perks while being Dude, a YouTube exclusive. I got streamer. to go to the purple lounge and then e-rob didn't get the same badge so he was stuck outside and i was like this is fucked because he's an actual twitch streamer who pulls in a great amount of viewership i don't pull a single viewer i don't have a single sub and i'm here eating the buffet with bow bun that's so funny i felt bad well did you lift rob out of the the muck and the mire and say come with me we will go a electronic robert no i was eating my bow they don't let you they don't let you no, homie people. There's no escorting. They like made a big deal about it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we're at this club and and they bought out the whole club. Don't check them on a razor. It was like almost a million dollars or some shit. Uh, but what they didn't buy was alcohol for like the tables. So all the tables were given to like, you know, a VIP. But you, they had orange juice, cranberry juice and water. And the, there was one bar is packed. And that was the only place you could get drinks. So I was like, I'll get one bottle for the table. Yeah, I can do that. That's fine. And I, and I asked for the waitress. And she's like, she's, she's a snake. She's a snake. Cause she comes up. She's like, she's like, what's your name? I'm like Ludwig. She's like, can I call you Lou? I'm like, <laughs> and I give her no, this song. Can't. I give her this song. Like, and she's like, just Ludwig. I love that name. And, uh, and then I'm wearing my Mater Crocs. She's like killer Crocs. I love those shoes. She like shines her light on it. Like a police officer. Uh, this is insane. Dude, she's going through like the Wolf of Wall Street script. <laughs> yes, dude. And, and then she hands Cuties me the on the balcony with a this. sniper rifle. Right <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Which is this red dot? Like, just... <laughs> and then she comes out of the menu, and she's like, "This is the menu. So here are our champagne options." And then the first item is 10k, and it goes up from there. Whoa! And she goes through, and I let her say everything. She she spends like five minutes going through all the champagne, and then I finally say, "I don't like champagne," and she goes, "Great." And then she flips it, and uh, and then I just see I lock eyes. I'm like vodka. I was like, I want vodka. Can I get vodka? Bottle of goose. Bottle of bot. I said bottle of goose, and she goes, Tito's is better. And I went, okay, bottle of Tito's. Can I do? And there's two options: seven fifty and fifteen hundred. Tito's and Tito's Magnum. Dude, what the what fuck the is going fuck? on? This I don't is know. Such a scam. It is, but I'm like, I'll just get the regular Tito's. And she goes, but the Tito's we only have Magnum. I'm like, you're the one <laughs> who told me to go Tito's from Goose. So I'm like. All right, I'll do the Magnum, which I think is a slightly larger bottle. And you're also paying for them to come out with fireworks. So come out with a bottle of fireworks and the bottle's there. I'm like, great, whatever. And this is $1,500, which not including the 15% gratuity, which is automatically included on top. That's fucking so crazy. So with taxes, man. it ends up being around 2K for the one bottle. Oh. And I, and I gave, my, gave her my card and I was like, great, I'm done. But then I had an idea. I thought it'd be really funny if... I got a huge, you know, those big ass signs that are lit up. Yeah. If I got a big ass sign for Lily Pichu that said Lily Pichu's a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And they come out and it's at this club. Hey, can you do gendered insults on your signs? Just wondering. my friend. (laughs) Yeah. And I told her and she's like, don't love it, but I'll come out with something else. And I was like, all right. And then she, and then in like a passing thought as she's walking away, she's like, oh, do you want a bottle with it? I'm like, sure. And she's like, great. One of your friends wanted tequila. I'm like, love that. She's like, 1943 Don Julio's. I was like, I don't know what that means. She's like, it'll be perfect. Oh. I'm like, sure, it'll be perfect. That's great. Dude, this is crazy. It is, and, and so I, I wait, they come out. It, it took a while because Lily disappeared for 45 minutes. So they came out with a sign. I was like, she's not here. And so they hit it. She finally comes back. By the time she comes back, the bottle is empty. Because what they do is the moment they're there, the waitresses, they pour like a shot into this fucking 
alchemist cauldron of 20 shots and they hand them out to anyone who will want one. And so by the time Lily's back, the bottle's gone. She's like, ooh, bottle's gone. We should probably get one if we do the birthday thing so we can do a birthday shot. No. I'm like, I'm like, fine, let's, let's do the fucking bottle. Dude, <laughs> you got your ankles broken. And, and, and so she goes Deep out, fried. she grabs a bottle. They do the happy birthday thing, which was, which was fun. There's a fun video of, of me filming Lily Pichu. Okay. It's not like, Lily's birthday, just to be clear. Got it. Yeah, it yeah. is not her birthday. Happy birthday, Lily. This is Josh's bit. Yeah. This is just yes. Josh's bit. Yeah, and the, and the, the yeah, sign says happy him. birthday, and it says Lily Pichu, uh, like, the bish or something, like a positive spin on Lily Peach is a bitch. Yeah. But I'm like, whatever. It's fine because she's embarrassed. And then I've done my rounds. I've hit the pen. I've asked <laughs> to close out like three times. She comes back with a check and the check is $9,880. And I'm like, oh my God. The birthday thing was 5K. The bottle that they brought, I think, was like $3,500 you know alone. what you do? You just say, I can't pay that. I don't have enough money. No, because you give your credit card beforehand. Oh! Dude, that's brutal. And they, and they charge it. So she, she definitely knows I can pay it. And she brings it out. And she's like, and she has to know I'm fucked up. Because I'm like standing there and I'm like, and she's like, here's the, here's the total. The tip's already included, but you can add a tip for me and Luke. And I've never met Luke in my life. And he's just standing there in front of me like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's Luke. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> all right, uh, I'll put a hundred, but I couldn't do the math. So I put, I, I did a hundred, but I added up like a thousand. So I got from like 9,880 to 10,980, just doing the math backwards. I'm like doing like six, eight dot zero. And I'm like trying to go down. Oh my I God. actually, I think this is a rare Ludwig scam story where I feel really bad. My for ankles you. are just getting broken. And, and, I've, and, and you have to do it twice, initial, sign it on, on two different receipts. I, I, like I, she had to the second one is for like your car and like your family. <laughs> <laughs> she had to rip it up, bring out a new one with her calculator phone that showed the math. I was like, 100? She's like, yes, 100. I'm like, okay. And then I just wrote it. And then she was like, thank you. It's been so fun. I was like, yes. And then she walked oh, away. Dude, that is insane. And that was me getting fleeced. That's your worst. That prank Lily Pichu. This makes all sense because I remember my my half brother uh, on my dad's side. He lived in Vegas for a while. He's like ten years older than me, but he lived like this crazy, crazy life of a handsome young man, and he was making like a hundred grand a year. This is like ten years ago or something. And I was like, what "The fuck do you do?" And he's like, oh, "I just work at a bar." And it's like this. He's Luke. Yeah, yeah. you know, cool hot Luke. He's cool hot Luke. With the blue jeans. Blue jeans. And he's getting fucking crazy tips, and that's how you can just make, like, bank off of guys like you. You know what hurt the most? I, w I went to, because Q doesn't like being there, so I walked her out. And as we walked out, there's a storage unit with a bunch of beer and you alcohol. Put her in there. And I, it, I, I put her in there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right, here you go. Yeah, I'll come get you at the uh, end. There's some hay in the corner. I, I walked by the storage unit, and there... Uh, like fucking waitress be damned is a whole rack of Tito's. Oh, every shape and size a Tito can come in. Uh, and I was like, I think that's a regular Tito. I don't know for sure. I could be a conspiracy you theorist. Have stolen a fucking pallet of te of tequila. Yeah. Fuck oh, cops. Fuck cops. Fuck police. Fuck them. Fuck the police. What does that have mm -hmm. to do with anything? You're stealing from the cops of the ooh, bar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, ooh, quick, ooh. quick mini game for slime. <laughs> Quick mini game for you. Dub it. Monk. There is a video on YouTube. I don't know if you can look this up. I think it's Fadia Zipper. Just look up traveling in Japan for no money. There's a video on YouTube that is going viral in Japan right now for all the wrong reasons because this group of YouTubers did a travel series where they go from the southern tip of Japan to the northern chip to a tip without any money. And they did it. By sneaking onto trains and buses. Yes, I saw, I saw the You've rumblings this. of this. Yes. And there's a specific clip where they go to the train and they immediately go to the bathroom, which I actually did in Japan for one stop because I got lost and I didn't know how to buy a ticket. It turns out I already bought the ticket, but I thought I was just scamming the system. Mm. I was just sitting in the bathroom for longer than I should have. But this guy did that for like many, many stops. A police officer was there as he got out, held his arm, and he like, you know, ripped out and ran away. You. Mr. Fuck Cops. What's up? Well, who are you pro or against? Or are you neutral? I think there's this idea that we, we should respect cops if they're from a different country that we don't quite understand to a, to a deep level like we, we would do our own. Mm -hmm. French cops you would never respect. 
No, because I would say if they're all fucking five two, I sleep them. So it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so it's like, why are you even a cop? Wait, right. How do you police your own society first for okay, one? Sure. Mm-hmm. So, so I think that once a met dog, always a met dog, and I don't care where you grew up. What does that mean? I, what is a Met dog? A Met dog is a person who polices the railway system to make you pay your ticket. Oh, like a Metro. I yeah. see. Mm. So you are Pro. on the side of the YouTuber. Well, it depends on if the guy's fucking cool or annoying. Because if he's doing it for content, then everything is perverse. Yes, and it I just, agree. It doesn't matter. If you're doing it just because you want to fucking just love the game... That's really cool, and I think that's fun. He's doing it for content. He likes to call himself the world's best hitchhiker. Yeah, he can go fuck himself. He's, he's stupid. He's European. But I, in that case, I, I think, you know what's funny is my hatred for authority figures on transit and YouTubers is probably equal. So it's like a horse race here. Have him fight. Bare knuckle. He has a bare knuckle, God's strongest police officer. In, That's in Japanese. Japan. Yeah. Also, yeah. David Cho sleeps this guy because he did this on YouTube like 15 years ago. That's what I'm saying, dude. Doing it for attention is so dog. Especially, like, I don't know. Oh, this is it? Yeah, ninja! He's, that's probably he's a bad got joke. blue hair. That's why he yelled out ninja. Yeah, it's probably uh-huh. a bad joke. It's not ninja. It's a different guy. Yeah, David Cho has a theory. He's called Thumbs Up America, oh. where he does this across America. It goes from California to Florida with no money. It does feel more chill in America, but I think that's because Thing Japan is suge. I, I like, I like <laughs> yes. Thumbs Up America because there's an episode where he teaches you how to steal from Walmart and then make energy balls, which yeah. are, I think are white bread and like like tuna that are mashed <laughs> together into a ball. <laughs> Uh, and then he stays in a crack den. It just seems better on every level. Yeah. And I know nothing about this. There's also urban camping videos where people like sleep in a roundabout near a Home Depot. I love shit. that guy. Yeah. 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 I think, I think. That but that's chill. It's, it's chill because it's also ultimately victimless. Yeah. You know. Uh, but yeah, this guy can go fuck himself. But also like if you're doing this without cameras rolling, then Godspeed Spider-Man. Mm. That's my take. I can't. Mm. And I, I think, think that's a reasonable take. I think ultimately take. I'm still on his side. Whose side? The content guy. Okay. Really? Mm. Because I think that, like, if he was holding on to the back of a train, right? Like, not in the train. He's holding on to the back of it. And and they come out, the train stops, and they come out to try to get him, and he runs. I'm just like, okay. Like, well, that's different, I think, think because there's an element of risk, and that's badass. I think, I mean, is is there an element of risk of him being arrested? I, I guess just like the danger of m- holding onto a moving train. Like you're risking cool. your life. Yeah. yeah, it is better for that reason. You're right. He's just in a fucking Shinkansen in the bathroom. I, I think, think I hate that for content. Going, but, yeah, it's so perverse. But I also just hate cops. It more. perverts everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. But weren't you telling me there's a like some streamer who got in trouble in Japan for being annoying, and then they like they just keep renewing his 30 day detainment. Johnny yeah. Somali. Yeah. 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 And so he's just like, oh, I'm out, and they're like, nope. You did this other thing, and then he's back mm. in jail. Yeah, he's been there for uh, like at least a couple weeks now. He'll probably be there like forty days or something before they did release him. I like I I think that's good. I think he should. What? Yeah, I, I think. I think look, look when you when you do shit like this, you risk a consequence. And if it's just spending like forty days in like light Tokyo jail, you know. I don't think. I think the just, world is balanced. I think if you here. do it for content, you deserve. It, you deserve all prison. the consequences. Yeah, you deserve all the consequences. Yeah, because you were trying to make money off this shit. You're trying mm-hmm. to make money off of making someone's day hard, even if they are a met dog. And it's like, it also, it, uh, most of the people in that situation are just like try, people trying to get to work, and they got to deal with the fucking train stopping and all some bullshit. But also, that metro dude is just a guy on his way to work. He is. He yes. just has to check the but tickets. But he chose to be a dog. What? So what? He chose. He's he not, wanted not to be a narc. narc. He's not technically he wanted a narc. No, he's, he he's actually a narc, like a tattletale. Yeah, he calls a police. I yeah. think it's different. I think it's different. I think there's when you go to a different country and they have like different, I don't know, different rules and different ideas of like how you conduct yourself, and you choose to go there and you so publicly like disrespect the way things are done. I think that's that's a problem. Logan he, Paul should be he, in jail he, today. He also by this oh, like being point. content and by it going viral, he also like sets a bad in the same way that the logan paul stuff like going viral there because that's a really bad image of like foreigners in general in a country that is already like relatively xenophobic i think the only problem with the logic i'm using right now is it'll be used like to an even further extent where people like when they hosted the world cup in qatar people are like and that's why gay people aren't chill and that's you come here to our country and you just follow our laws and our rules. Like, it's like, uh, obviously there's like a tipping point with that, but I think you like, when you visit a place, it's like, even if he's a fucking transit cop, which I think is maybe lame. And especially in like an American circumstance, if you're like hanging somebody up over a Metro ticket, um, 
but you represent something else when you go to a different country like that. And I think so too. I I also think that like, look, the world needs people who uh, police the train. Like there, I understand the system of checks and balances. If everybody thought the way I did, we'd probably be, it'd be bad here. uh, So I'm stealing, stealing the idea that I get to say that because I'm opting out of the responsibility I think as long as long as there's like on the transit cots part, as long as there's some sense of like lenience and understanding, like in uh in Sweden on this last trip, I accidentally bought the ticket for the wrong train, but going from the like the same city, and I think I technically can be ticketed for that, but they just let it slide because they can see that I as a visitor have like made a mistake. Yeah, this guy right? like hid in the bathroom then pretended to be sick. But he's like knowingly fucking with the rules and making a video out of it and he's not from there. It's just I've uh, it's back. just so disrespectful. I will say there was one thing that I was on the YouTuber side and it was because he took a bus. It was a 680 yen bus. He had 600 yen. The bus driver was like, you need 80 more yen. And the bro was like, I don't got it. And then he's like, all right. And he brought him to the police station where he got questioned for five hours. And then the police officer was like, yeah, we'll play the ADN, which is like an equivalent of like a quarter. Yeah, that's actually that's funny. It's it's well, I like the idea that the bus driver knew he sucked. Yeah. The bus driver was like, nah, I see the vlog camera. Like, yeah. I just I'm not about We're it. not doing this. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. It, it, this is very reminiscent of like uh, skater owns Karen videos where like your skaters are filming at a spot you're not allowed to be whether it's like a school or like a public <laughs> library. And then like someone comes up and is like, get the fuck out of here. This is private property. And they go either like, no, fuck you. Or they run here. But there's also some of those videos where they come up and they're really reasonable. And they're like, Hey guys, yeah. like, I don't want to like be a dick, but like, I-, I have to like ask you guys to leave. You're messing up the thing. And the skaters are like, Fuck you, old Karen loser. <laughs> and, yeah. and in the video you watch and you're like, I think I'd be pretty know, reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fine. Uh, it's kind of fine. And I, I think that like the behavior on both sides kind of matters to me. Like if you're yeah. like an old like like old graffiti artists used to make videos like this where they would like like hop train cars, do art and run from police. And it was like badass. But I feel like the, the blue hair YouTuber who's making content for money and like disrespecting in another country. It's like a he, lot more lame. D- uh, maybe a different. Oh, shit. What'd you do? Did I just broke break? the chair again. Yeah, because you're fucking fucking. This is my third chair that I've broken. Yeah, you're the only one who's disgusting. You're the gross mess. Dude, you're a stinky You should have seen the way he ate in Vegas like a cow. Did he? Just like cow. Like a cow in a big slop bucket. I did not do this. He just ate slop. I didn't do this. Did you just wait for the chicken nuggets to come out of the trough? He kept smelling barbecue sauce on the blackjack table. And they said, Sir, sir, your burger's spilling. And he went, He just went, Oh. I started looking it up. He's done this before. Katy Perry's face. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was going to say maybe, maybe a different version of this question. Cause to me watching that is that guy is like definitively in the wrong. Do you know who Yuto Horigami is? Do you know who he is? No, no, uh, he does. He's Olympic, a very, Olympic he's like skateboarder. one of the best skaters oh, in the yeah, world yeah, right yeah. now. I've and watched from, a he's from Japan. Japan. Oh. He just dropped a street skate part uh, to promote like his shoes. a couple months ago. And he's doing it like all over Japan and he's getting stopped by police all the time and it's like is that i feel like is is then it a fuck cop scenario because like he's he's japanese Japanese, he's he's like from japan he's just skating like sections of like the street he's also your gold medalist who just won in your country let a fucking man skate a little bit (laughs) like let him drop (laughs) a dope nike video i do think a gold medal should get you a pass i think if he wears it around his neck the police should be like (laughs) Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, hall pass. What you, do? you can't bust him. <laughs> He's a national. I've hero. done more for the country than you ever will. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but this guy's not the, a gold medalist. No, and also yeah. wouldn't be for Japan. And, if he and was. also not for Japan. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap up, Aiden, what was the middle part of your weekend and the worst part? Unless, unless that was the worst part, was talking to that depressed man. <sighs> that might have been the middle part, honestly, because of how many ups and downs there were. So what we'll call the that the middle the part. Uh, the best part of my weekend was going to a Halloween party on Saturday night. I dressed up as Zlatan, the soccer player, which was. Oh, Zlatan he did the head butch. Oh. No, nope. That's, no, that's, that's a funny. That was funny. Because yeah, they did different. all the gifts on e bombs. E bombs. Different guys. Um, did you, and you should have shaved for your head for it. I uh, he's also not bald. He's a ponytail. Not bald. Famously in a ponytail. You're actually, still thinking guy is of Zidane. <laughs> it's not. It's lo- different he's guy. Swedish. Different. It's different guy. Different guy. Mm. 
All right. Mine's different. Yeah. I don't know. Just one head, one head bug. He's right. He's fucking mind. <laughs> hey. And I, uh, I went to go meet my friend Dan Borza, aka Borzuka, who made that custom GameCube we had. It is beast. Um, because he is here for a month, and his friend was hosting a Halloween party, and I really missed him. And I, that was the best part of my weekend is oh, catching up with him. Oh. And uh, the worst part of my weekend. Probably how much rank you lost in Valorant. Was that the worst part? No, I'm, I'm doing fine. Was it Mango not taking it all home? It was watching Plup lose to Cody because it was like, it really can't be done. It's really in a fucking impossible matchup that I will complain about for the rest she of the uh, You already forfeit that. Hmm? You're not allowed to complain forever because of J-Mook. He said, J-Mook, J-Mook he said I'd never so complain right. if J-Mook wins. I'll never complain ever it's again. It's so possible. Oh, and then he did it? And then he and won, then so he can't complain J-Mook's, ever again. He's right. It's so possible now it's the worst, did it. The, now it's the worst time because J-Mook did it, and you can't complain. Yeah, I know. So it is the and worst And I'm moment. locked in, in complainer hell. I had a fine weekend. I just, you know, that was, the, the worst part wasn't that bad. It was, it was, the worst part was watching, the worst part was seeing Big House viewership and watching everybody applaud it and be like, Melee's not dead, knowing that, this is half of what all the previous big houses were. That well, was the worst part the of my weekend. Died. The internet did die. That's not great for viewership. No, that's really bad. But then it makes you think, is, is, is most viewers just these ghost viewers that just leave their computer yes, on? Yes, and yes, And it's like, how long can we live this lie? How that's, long no, can we get paid No, that's just every stream. Per that's, just all, that's just all Twitch streams. It is all Twitch streams. When do we get to tell the truth, or we do we get to keep lying to these companies? I'm down. It's not. It's I don't not think lying. we're it's lying. Like it is going. lying because you're like, oh, we got 50k, and they're like, okay, we'll pay you per ad minute. Yeah, but how else could you measure it if they genuinely have the it's stream like open all in a window? With just their computer on and they walked away. Like sometimes it might be as simple as they use that as a reason to do something else. Or watch that's something so else. cringe because they should care about Big House. I mean, it's like channel surfing. That's cringe. Also, streaming services, it would be bad for them, so they'd never do it, but they could do, like, a inactivity, like, if, the, if this, yeah. you know... It, but they wouldn't want but to. But it'd, it'd be hard to know when it's actually inactive. And we'll talk about it on the Primo, but I hung out with Ludwig's high school friend, Jake, this weekend, and, and we, t- we filmed an advice episode. Oh my god, here's the receipt. 900, 9,880.63. Wow, that's so fucked up. It doesn't up. even have it itemized. That's fucked it's up. It's just the fucking. This is how much it costs. Okay. The audio viewers, slime has a cigarette in his mouth. That's why he's talking about. Bye. So, All right. See you later, guys. Jake. We'll, we'll be lighting up on the on the premium, and we'll see you on another time. We're not gonna. Lie. This Same. video is terrifying, dude. Hello. Bear wants you to tell. That's a pretty good box, though. Say hello. That's a steal. I'm a bear. That's the stick is in the box right now, and that, he wants maybe it. this is what Roddy Rich when he <laughs> went to Antarctica. <laughs> to be clear, this bear looks like he just wants to have fun and play. He wants to play with a guy, man. I'm in the box, dude. They are so fucking cute.